Welcome back to Up and Coming. I'm your host, Danny B. And here with me, we have Ryan Harvey, the producer responsible for many of the up and coming bands around Tulsa. So Harvey, tell me a little bit about what you do. I'm a producer slash engineer at Catharsis Studios outside of Broken Arrow. Awesome, awesome. Um, what, what are some of the bands you've worked with? Uh, I've worked from, uh, for the weekend from Canada and uh, King Conquer from Florida, uh, Skies from Kansas, End Ocean from Texas, 37 from Texas, Cutthroat, Lesson Learned, Parallels, those are all Tulsa bands. They're, they're starting to make a pretty good name for themselves. Uh, I did drums uh, and bass recording on Outlining Colors EP, which they're getting pretty big right now, which is pretty cool to see that. And you're, you're 20 years old, right? I am, yeah. Okay. So how long have you been producing? How long have you been doing this? Uh, probably since I was about 16 or 17, around oh, wow. that time. So that's, <laughs> Got started early, but you know that's the way to do it nowadays, man. You, yeah. You got to have one up on everybody else. I mean, everybody's starting earlier and earlier. Yeah, it's, it's real tough. Like, I have a lot of competition rising up every day, but I, I have my set work. I know, I mean, how does a 16-year-old obtain all of that recording equipment? Because I know recording equipment is not cheap. Oh, you, you don't start off with it. You have to start small, and you have to build up. And the, pretty much the better you get, the better your gear will get, too, because you'll be like, oh, I need this, and I need that. So what you do, I mean, I got a job when I was 16, and I started putting money away for that every, you know, every paycheck. And then after that, uh, I would record bands when I wasn't working and, you know, just keep on buying gear, like going online, talking to people, trading, uh, buying used, tons of other stuff like that you can do. Wow. That's crazy. Um, <clears throat> so, so now, the equipment that you have, like what, what kind of software do you use to record? Like, I'm using you use? Reaper, which is, uh, it's, a, it's an open base program. It's, uh, it's pretty new. and. A lot of the a lot of the old guys won't even really you know acknowledge that it's a real DAW, but you can definitely hang with Pro Tools, Cubase. I actually I like it over Pro hmm. Tools. I'll probably never ever use Pro Tools ever really? because of Reaper. Yeah, really? it's it's so far beyond. You can code it however you want. So if there's something you don't like in it, and if you know how to code, you can actually go in the program, change it, and you can make scripts for it like online in their user forms. You can get a whole bunch of scripts that allow you to do different actions that doesn't come with stock Reaper. Wow, yeah, that, that's crazy. I've used Pro Tools before, but I've never, I've never yeah. heard of. To Reaper. be honest, I think Pro Tools is a joke. <laughs> oh wow! Um, so you had an internship. So, you know, tell me a little bit, like who you worked with, and you know what you did, what all you got to do, and how you got the internship. I worked with uh, Joey Sturgis at Foundation, uh, the Foundation Studios, which is in Indiana. He's done bands like Devil Wears Prada, Attack Attack, Oceano. I mean, he's got he's he's a really big producer right now. And uh, he, uh, he goes on a lot of the audio forms that I do, and we talk, uh, you know, we just got to talking one day, and he just hit me up, he was like, what's your contact? And so he called me, and he was like, what are you doing January 15th? And he was like, I was just like, I don't really know. <laughs> and he was like, come up here, intern, under Attack Attack, and we'll get, we'll just, we'll see what you know. Wow. Yeah. You, you just got, you got right in there, man. That's yeah. awesome. You just got to jump in. Yeah. Uh, so actually, we have a short clip from Attack Attack. Let's check it out. So, I mean, there was Attack Attack. I mean, you got to, you actually got to work on that. Yeah, uh, I did a lot of the editing, a little vocal, a little bass, you know, stuff that Joey was like, hey, try this real quick. I just want to see what you know. Oh, wow. Uh, what's your favorite type of music to, to record? Favorite type is definitely, definitely hardcore uh, and metal. Um, I, don't, I don't mind doing rock mm. and pop and all that stuff, but just the people are just sometimes not that fun. Like, when you have... These smaller bands in like hardcore and metal, just like they have, they have so much heart. They have so much emotion. They have a message to put out. You know, they're not, 
they're they don't have a tour bus they have a tour van and they risk their lives every day driving you know the state to state playing every show and it's these kids got a lot of messages to say and i really i want to capture that i want to capture that message and just help them show the world what they want you know help them achieve their goals like that that whole genre means so much to me uh, like i was i wasn't raised on metal i was actually raised on like pop Mm -hmm. All the stuff, but I always found like metal pretty cool, and that's why I started playing guitar. Oh wow! So, so you're not only a recorder, but you also play as well. Yeah. So now, do you? I mean, do you just play guitar? Is there? Do you play any other instruments? Uh, I almost play everything. Not too good at everything, but I can edit myself. That you wouldn't believe. Yeah. It. <laughs> yeah, and that's that's one thing that you know that's a plus to having all the equipment that you have. Yeah, you know, yeah. You can do your own stuff, and you can you know make your own CDs, and you know put yourself out there. Yeah. That's what that's what a lot of people are starting to do now these days. Is just like they're just setting up, you know, with Drum Kit from Hell on easy uh, on Pro Tools and just recording over it, making songs, demoing it. And it, it's kind of scary because the engineer and producer part of the world is like starting to kind of move towards more like bedroom producers, as they're called. Like, which I, I kind of still am. Like all these big studios, like Abbey Roads, which did the Beatles, that got shut down. Oh, wow. And then uh, the Hit Factory is almost being shut down because people can't afford to go to the studio and drop $100,000 on a CD anymore. Wow. Um, so you're saying that your favorite music to record was, uh, you said metal, hardcore? And hardcore, yeah. And hardcore. What, now, what's your favorite type of music to listen to? Like, those, what do you listen definitely, to? Like, definitely, that's, that's what I listen to, but as a producer, mm -hmm. and uh, I just love music. Like, I could talk about music forever, like... I can barely hold a conversation with someone unless it's about music. I'll just be like, yeah, that's cool. But music, I just go on and on and on. Um, I listen to a lot, a lot of pop, classical, jazz, um, weird stuff, like a lot, of, a lot of electronica, a lot of, uh, it's, it's weird, it's like drone, it's ambient, almost mm, kind of yeah. indie in a way too, but mostly hardcore and metal. Those are my favorite things to listen to. Sweet, but every man. once in a while. So you're self-taught, you're 20 years old, and you've already accomplished so much. You know, that's, that's really awesome, dude. Yeah. You, you're doing so great, and getting yourself out there is just, you know, Yeah, I mean, it's awesome, just, it's just getting better. I recently got a call from uh, Malcolm Springer, who, does, who did Matchbox 20 Pearl Jam, and he's hired me to be a producer at his company, The Recording Co. That is awesome, man. And well, we're sorry, we're, we're out of time, okay. you know. That was, it was awesome. great getting to know everything yeah. about you and what you do and, you know, how you started. So good luck out there, man. All right, thank you. Appreciate it. Uh, tune in next time with me, Danny B. You know, we'll have more about the Almost Famous on coming up.